Okay, we should do this. <laughs> huh? I said, you should do this one, man. This one really touched home for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, you want to know something? Because, you know, I've dealt, with, I've dealt with a lot of majority educated women. So I, I know this one is going to hit home. Welcome to Chaos Culture Radio. Talking about quick news, quick updates. This is our king. This is your man, Ronnie Ron. But a new journey. Let's go. Let's get it. So, ladies, gentlemen, we we don't have the article here with us, but it's it's out here. As people refusing to pay student loan debts in the hopes that Biden is going to say the forgiveness, and our the majority of our beloved black women are the ones who hold the most debt, according to ABC. That something is imperative, and they still or in below the poverty line. When we tackle this type of situation and talk about it, try to understand how did it come to this point where, don't get me wrong, black women are the most educated out of any group in America. That's facts. There's, we're not gonna even, there's not even the discussion about that. They hold the most degrees, they hold the most JDs, they hold the most, you know what I mean, like, so so but the, the 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 mountain of debt that they are massing doesn't even make him a contender in economics when i say economic economics of life yes you have 40 yes you have 100 200k and th- you you're three hundred thousand dollars in debt and student loans and you only make maybe 80k the math is off the math is real off you know what i'm saying where we need to start thinking, should black women go to school? Does it make financial sense for them to go to school? It doesn't make financial sense if you're going to go to school, take $80,000 worth of debt to come out and work for $10 an hour. Who does that? No, that, that no, you do. That makes a lot of sense. Now people are trying to see, okay, what's going on? Why black women right now is holding the most debt? Because black women right now is refusing to pay their student loan debt. They're not paying it because they they've been promised by false false advertisement from this current president saying I'm going to forgive a lot of student loans. So a lot of black women have hopes one day this student loan will be forgiven, and that's not that's not the case. Now when inflation is going high, interest rates go high, which means when you fail to not pay your debt, your student loan, your interest rates goes up. I mean, it brings you more and more into poverty line. So mm-hmm. black women, yeah, they're educated, but they're not thinking logically here because they're hoping and wishing that something is going to be erased when it, we already know clearly it's not going to be erased. It's still going to be on your record. So I think school to me is very, very important, but I think the type of degrees women are going for, they need to change their mindset and their goals or what degrees they're actually going for and go for the degrees that's going to make you a good money, good amount of money, like six figures, instead of making you own. Um, Two figures, you get what I'm saying? That's my take on it. And speaking on degrees, I'm gonna get get that and get into mm-hmm. deep in that. What type of degrees are you going for? You know, what type of degree that's gonna make you, you know, make you, you know, in a high, you know, 80s and 90s to six figures? Because you know, most of the degrees y'all are doing, you know, y'all not. I don't think they're doing their research about it. I don't think they. I think they think of like you know more of a dream. Of, oh, I could do this. I can make my own business. You know, I make this so much. You know, a thousands and you know, hundred thousand of dollars and everything. But you look at the average. You know, you know, if you look at the median of the average, the low and the high. You know, it's only very few. There's only a very few women who can do that. Very few. We talk about less than what eight seven eight seven percent. And I feel like you know, with these degrees, you know, they think about the dream. Or I can, you know, especially. And shout out to um, uh, TJ, the pocket watcher. And he was saying about these businesses, like, you know, 80, 80% of businesses fail. Fact. 80%, you know, because a, a lot of people think they can go into business, but you gotta, you have to, you know, you're, 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 like I said, it's a, it's, it's a totally different animal when you go into business because you have to be on it like a dog, like basically almost 24 seven, you know, like a, like a regular job, regular job, you do what? Eight to 12 hours. And after that, you're done. You go into business, you know, you got to really, really step up and look at your finance and everything because it's a whole different animal. And I don't think a lot of women understand that. They just, they just hear stuff on uh, like Instagram, TikTok, 
oh, I did this, you know, I, I made my own business here, you know, I, it was easy, do the this, da, 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 da. But they don't know the details of how the, of, of the, the work and grind you got putting in it and everything. Because I, now I feel like when, when someone would take these degrees, they gonna, they use it and they say, okay, I'm, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go into business. And not really taking that as a career and everything. Like, make sure, like, with women, make sure, you, like I said, you used to get some type of degrees that make that will make you good money, like, for uh, economics and uh, especially engineering. You know, engineering, that's 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 top tier right there, you know? And, you know, like I said, a lot of women, they, they, they take these degrees, it's, it's useless, and they're in, in a super-duper debt. And with Joe Biden and everything, he's not going to, like I said, he's not going to pay your, to me, He's not gonna pay your debt for you got about hundred thousand dollars worth of debt. That's a government money. He wants his money. Come on now. So my thing is, it's like you know, make sure you know with the you know the women, make sure you do your research. You know, make sure you do your research. Talk to a counselor, and you know, and try not to get in these big. And like I said, don't don't put yourself into a, a certain degrees. You put you in a big debt that you can't pay for it. And then you gotta rely on the government to pay, you know, Joe to pay for, you know, just to um, try to rescue your student debt. Because personally, for me, that's not gonna happen, especially in a hundred hundred thousand dollars of debt. That's not gonna happen. They, he gonna want his money back. That's my take on that. Hey man, Kevin Samuel, um, R.I.P. to the beloved, once said that women don't do the math on going to school. And a lot of them just go to school in fear to keep their mind off a lot of things. Like you getting an extra degree doesn't matter if you're going to use that as a bargaining tool. Economically, mm -hmm. it doesn't see that you're doing well. We're not saying for all people, but mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like we all know that a lot of women come to relationships with the most debt. And their biggest debt is school debt. This is why a lot of men are scared to marry y'all because if you get married, his name will be attached to your loan. Why Fact. would I want to be married to a woman who has $200,000 worth of loan debt and for me to take out, I might as well be by myself? Mm. You Very clown, different. yeah, you clown the hard working blue collared man who probably went to a trade school who maybe merely paid maybe eight to nine grand for his certification, makes upwards to a hundred grand, but that's not good enough for you. You went and got a JD and MD or MBA, and um, you make maybe two to three grand a month, but that still doesn't financially. You're 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 drenched in ruins. And also, and also, I want to say is, speaking of a man, what's wrong? And my, I don't think women think like this, but I know we do. What's wrong to having a man who's making between thirty or forty k? So basically, you have 30 and 40K, you added that into the household. What's wrong yeah. with that? That's money. You, mm -hmm. you, you see a man making 30, 40K, okay, cool. But if you live with him, that's that's into that's you know, that's into the household. And usually with a man who's in a household who loves his girl, his instincts kind of takes over and he wanna make a little bit more. Basically. A little bit, he'll make a little bit more. He'll make it happen. You know, some men is like, you know, I'm gonna stay, but there's some man who like loves their girlfriend, wives, and everything. They want to make a little bit more and all that type of stuff. So my thing is, I'm like I said, I don't think women think like that. Like I said, see, you know, a man that makes 30 or 40 or 50 and, and see that income, and you just you just add it into a household and you and you making money right there. And like I said, like I said, some of these women, they, it's just like they're so fearful of the man. I, I just don't get it, you know. But like I said, like I said, think about that. Get a get somebody that makes, like I said, think about that, that math of, of adding a forty or forty thousand dollars to the income. That could change a lot of things, especially around this time in the, with inflation. It's so crazy. You could be so you could be easily wise, but so easily foolish. Chaos Culture Radio. We out. Peace.